Hello, I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly. Come and travel and eat with me. Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in. I am Corey, the owner of Fork and Fly, and this is a resort view for the Royalton at Negril and also the hideaway at the Royalton Negril. This is not the room, but if you want to see this room, stay tuned. I will, will be making a video about this resort and this room. So I stayed at the Hideaway at Royalton, which is an adult only, which means it's 18 and older, all inclusive. Then you have the Royalton side, which is family friendly. There's actually nothing splitting. It's like an imaginary line between the two resorts. There's actually a third one there called the Grand Lido, which is an all natural resort. But I'm just gonna um, talk about the hideaway at Royalton. Check in, once I checked in, it was a breeze. Um, and this is all during COVID, so you have to keep in mind, and I also have to keep in mind that things are different. Everywhere that you go, everything that you do. So once I got to the lobby, they took my bags. I waited in the lobby until somebody greeted me, which is like less than a couple of minutes. They gave me a welcome glass of, it was something blue, I forgot what it was called, but it was good, it was tasty, refreshing, you know, once you uh, travel the distance that it takes to get from Montego Bay Airport to Negril is about like a good hour, hour 15 minutes or so. So it's very refreshing once you arrive. I believe it was the bellboy. He came, greeted me, and walked me to the Diamond Club. So the regular hideaway area wasn't open, I don't believe, the Diamond Club. So we had to go on the Royalton side, which is fine. Um, and then that's where I did my check-in process. I was greeted by my butler. And I, I was told that I was upgraded. It is my birthday. So they knew, you know, they try to accommodate if they have it available. Me being a travel agent, they try to accommodate us. And me being a travel agent, I will accommodate my guests. Like if you let me know you're having a special occasion or anything, I mark it down, do my job and letting the resort know so they can take care of you guys. But anyway, so I was upgraded. My butler walked into my room. If I had my bags, uh, he would have bought it too, but that's another story. My bags was left in Fort Lauderdale on a connecting flight. <laughs> Once I arrived, I had the one bedroom presidential suite. Beautiful room, beautiful room. Um, it was just me. More than enough space <laughs> for one, two, even four people. I believe a good five people can fit in there. Or maybe more. Um, I will let you know about that. The room was beautiful. The resort is, I believe, three years old. There were a little bit of touches that can be done, like in a hotel, like um, cracks in the wall like that. Not major cracks, like, oh, that's a big, no. It was like little minor things where it needs to be up kept a little better. The bed was comfortable. I had, I had two refrigerators. Those were stocked, which was, I was surprised because I went to other resorts and they don't stock it ahead of time. Uh, they, when you call down, they'll give you whatever you want. But this at the Royalton Hideaway and stuff, they had the bars stocked. They didn't have the in-room liquor, but being a diamond guest and at the Hideaway, you get a couple of bottles, something like that. Um, so yeah, you just have to call that down. Room service. Due to COVID, I went to another Royalton. They had a full room service menu. It's on the television. This time in the grill, it was maybe eight to 10 items. It was like three appetizers, about five entrees, and like two desserts. Typical, like for instance, the appetizers was like a cheese platter hummus, and something else. The entrees were chicken fingers with french fries, or like a wrap, or spaghetti, or a burger. Oh, and there was a salad on the appetizer. Then the dessert was like a brownie and a cheesecake. 
So that was it. And the only complaint that I have about that is room service was 24 hours, but late night when you have like cravings, the sports bar closes at 2 a.m. Which the sports bar has different food. They have like hot dogs, the burger, macaroni and cheese, some wings, jerk wings and plain wings. A couple of other things, like maybe three other things that was on the list. So after a while, I got tired of eating chicken, chicken fingers, um, chicken wings. I wish there was more, but like I said, due to COVID, I'm sure they had to limit their menu because one is not at capacity so they're not like um, having to make and prepare a lot of food so you're using the basic stuff chicken is easy french fries are easy so that was one complaint um my butler was cool my butler was his name was clinton the best i believe he actually worked a lot because there's a lot of people booking on the hideaway and diamond club so with that you get the butler and i probably saw about three or four butlers like just going and like the people that I met I was like oh who's your butler they was like Clinton I'm like oh me too and somebody said like oh Clinton is working and every time I would see him he was like working 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 so props to you Clinton if you ever watch this video <laughs> the layout of the property like pictures doesn't do it justice it's on like a crescent I believe it's called Bloody Bay and there's a story behind it. So when you're looking one way, you, you see some of the resort, but another way you can't see because it's curved. But when you're at one end, you can kind of see all the way down. It's like, well, this layout is big. The pictures that they have, they don't do it justice. Um, and it goes in order. So the family side, which is Royalton, is, off, is on the far right. Then you got Hideaway, which is in the middle. And then Grand Lido is at the end. So how it goes, the Grand Lido guests could go to the Hideaway and Royalton to like eat, drink, exercise, whatever. And then the Hideaway guests could only go to Hideaway and Royalton, and then the Royalton guests only stay at Royalton. So I think that's good, like if a resort was to do two sides, family side and an adult side, that would be ideal. The nightlife. They don't have a nightclub, they have the sports bar, but right now, due to COVID, the DJ wasn't there, but one night I did catch the DJ um, down outside at the martini mix, it's like this martini bar. DJ was good, people were dancing, having a good time. It was, it was cool, it was nice, it was nice. Um, the pool, it was, I believe it's one main pool on the hideaway side. And then on the Royalton side, it's probably two or three. But like I said, the guests on the hideaway side can go to the Royalton side. The drinks were good. The food, okay, so I did have breakfast at the buffet. The buffet isn't open for dinner. The buffet was only, I believe, just breakfast. Um, the breakfast was good, Jamaican cuisine. You had your brown stew chicken, curry chicken, your bammy fried dumplings, boiled dumplings. You had your typical American, which was like eggs. You could do an omelet, bacon, sausage, hash, hash brown. You have all your fruits, yogurts, breads, pastries, all that stuff. So anybody coming, they wouldn't be disappointed with the breakfast. Now dinner, they were rotating restaurants because like I said, occupancy wasn't at full. So it was like maybe one or two restaurants open and they was rotating. So my butler, he picked for me. And one of the restaurants that he picked one night was Calypso. And that's their Jamaican restaurant, Caribbean restaurant. And the food was good. I had the filet red snapper, which is like a big, it looked like a stuffed chicken, but it wasn't stuffed, it was fish. That was good and it came with uh, cocoa bread as like an appetizer and I also had it was either the ribs or the pork chop but whatever it is it was good the drinks were good staff friendly everybody who you ran into hey good morning 
Good evening, how you doing? You enjoying yourself? Even when I sat down at the buffet, other waitresses walking by were like, you're good, everything's good. That wasn't even waiting on me, so that's good. It was a very friendly resort. I didn't go to the beach there, but the beach, you had little sections for the beach. Like I said, it's on like a crescent. Um, it is in the grill, beautiful beaches. I didn't get to test it out. I'm not a big beach person. I'll spend hours at the pool, which I did. Swimmer bar. The swimmer bar is open. I went to another resort earlier, like maybe a couple of months ago, and the swimmer bar was still closed. So to know that this one was open, it was it was refreshing. I like that. It was good. Mask, you had to wear mask on property. Um, when you wasn't drinking, eating, you had to take it off. You could, t I mean, you could take it off. If you was in the pool, you could take it off. When you checked in, you signed the paper saying that, you know, you agreed to wearing a mask and, you know, you're not showing any symptoms. But you did have some people who didn't wear it um, or they had it like on their wrist. And also back to the food with the buffet, you don't serve your own self. Uh, you have staff behind there. You tell them what you want, they plate it, they give it to you. I like that way. I think once all this is over, I think buffets like in these resorts should keep it that way. I like it that way. And maybe back at home, like when you go to the or you can eat buffet, I think they should do that, but that might be a little difficult. And the lines might be a little too long, but that is basically my review for the hideaway at Royalton, the grill. I definitely will be back because that was a short stay. I really enjoyed myself. If you guys are looking to head there or any other Worldton property or any destination or resort in general, please contact me, Corey. I am the owner of Fork and Fly. It's my own travel agency. I specialize in food and travel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.